you're literally taking a bunch of stuff that is the components of a song and then you are turning lead into gold. I want to give a shout out to Gridum Beats. He got in touch with me recently. We were chatting. Um, and he wanted um, us to talk more about some perspective mindset stuff. He found that very insightful. And um, like I said earlier, Dylan, like I feel like we always have really insightful conversations. And I'd love to hear some of your insight on like um, what sort of mindset um, or belief systems have given you like the most gains in your production or songwriting or just like expression when it comes to the new stuff you've been making? Oh man. Is there anything in particular that I said in our like one-on-one -on -one that may have stood out to you because I could go so many directions? <laughs> um, feel free to just go with whatever first comes to your mind. Man. Okay. Well, belief systems, man. So I think it starts a lot with like theology, to be honest, like music is something that binds us together. And theology is always like that. Did it happen? It's like religion and all this taking place and how has it shaped and pushed us forward? And music is kind of like that, right? Like it just, it's this thing that's not really tangible. Like you can play an instrument, but can you really hold the sound and stuff? And so to me, it's like having stages uh, of even your life or like, you know, the arrangement of a song. So like the philosophy to me is kind of like a year, the grand year, a solar year. You know, you have the spring of your life, then you have the summer of your life. And this is like the exaltation of the sun. It's the brightest. It's the most like hottest. Everything's happening. Uh, all the seeds that you planted are sowing. So this could be your beats. It could be when you're in flow state or when you're in a Zen, like meditative state and everything's just like perfect. And then you start coming into the fall, you know, and that's where you start to rest and like uh, enjoy the fruits of your labor. And then you hit winter and that's like the end, that's the final crescendo or maybe the ominous somber uh, release. And when you listen to music and you're creating music, I think every bit has some sort of alchemy to it. Um, there's this guy named Head Flux, amazing like side breaks and like other epic esque kind of side desert dwellers style music. And he does something called um, uh, audio alchemy or production alchemy. And there's like a two, three hour video he has on YouTube. And he literally has broken down like frequencies to color for chromiosthesias to all the way of like finding what chords and what BPMs are in the seasons of this year, of this like grand solar year. So like if you're in the middle of summer or like, you know, we're say October, right? Halloween, like what that is, all Hallows Eve, you start writing music and that like feeling and those colors and those themes and like that philosophy right there is just like totally blown my mind because even if I'm not writing, like say, you know, October's like 80 BPM, well, say I just take like uh, something to hit 80 BPM in the track at some point to like elicit that feeling. And like I said, Headflux has like really done his studies for like, I don't know how many years, but he's like got charts and like all of this stuff perfectly mapped out to like alchemy of a song. Like you'll know what elements are water, air, earth, uh, fire and ether and like what's missing in your song and how much do you need of each and we already do that intuitively as producers. It's just like, uh, you know, something in our uh, astrology and all that, right? But that alone just like changed it. You know, when you like hear a track and you're like, man, something's missing. Well, with like a system, a strong system of your intuition and your gut and creativity, you can find out like what element am I missing? Like is you know, for house music, that kick and clap, man, or kick and snare, like that's the foundation. It's very earthy. It's just there. But then you start getting like air with hi-hats and the rhythms of hi-hats and like whooshes and all that kind of like, um, what do we say in the jo uh, dojo, like the horizontal, 
the very the sway, you know, and stuff like that has been the most groundbreaking breaking philosophy uh, mindset for me as far as creativity and how to um, add or take away. So that's definitely like a whole <laughs> of like craziness but look into no, fucking love head it. flux man if y'all haven't seen his alchemy presentation it's amazing love it i love that that's definitely a really unique perspective and way to think about music i could i could tell you got more in your brain about something about philosophy i, I liked hearing you explain all that i really enjoyed that do you have anything else on the subject or man. or just in general philosophy about music well, I really appreciate you saying that, man. And as long as I'm not taking up y'all's time, I know y'all have sessions. Y'all no, good, awesome no, teachers. Good. Thank you for what y'all do. <laughs> Love man. It, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's crazy to think, like, as far as philosophy of music, right? Like, I was just, I guess this kind of ties back into, like, Lander and, like, doing your own stuff as well. Is that, like, for me, I don't want AI making my music because I want to feel it. I want to be a part of it. It keeps me sane. It keeps me from being a bad person. Needless to say, it's like a religion, but without the context of that, all the people need to follow this set of rules. Like, I think every producer kind of has their own esque of why they do it. But it's kind of like touching a synthesizer, you know, like old hardware or analog gear. Like, it's something about being like really in tune with it. So, Sometimes I don't think it's so much about like the quality as much as it is the feeling. And I was just talking with my friend about this. There's this guy named Dax Riggs. He's got like three or four albums that he's never released and he's still working on them today. But all his songs that have been released are recorded from live shows. And I'm telling you right now, I rock the fuck out every time I hear him do cover songs or his originals on a cell phone or like tape recorder because of what is being put into it. It's like so much feeling and emotion that you get this like uh, illicit experience that like whether you want to know more or you have questions of like, how did he come up with this chord progression or why does he sing this way? And to me, I think that's, you know, uh, probably the key element the golden nugget as like uh was it seth drake right the name? nugget yeah seth yeah right yeah man yeah dude he always talks about like the nugget i think it's more so the quality and the heart you put into it and again like i that's why i kind of tie it into that whole head flux like alchemy like you're literally taking a bunch of stuff that is the components of a song and then you are turning lead into gold you're literally fusing something that's nothing. Literally, you know that whole thing where people say, you can't just make something out of nothing? Well, <laughs> you as a musician do. And it's like this magic, the muse, like the, the angels or whatever it is that you will call it. For me, I easily can just say the muse and I think almost everybody knows what I'm talking about. And it's just like, it's talking to you. And it's like, there's a hundred people getting the same message. But typically when you're doing something so intuitively and like instinctual, you're like, man, I'm listening and I'm just like a filter for this to come out. Because there may just be one person, just one person who hears your song that need to hear that song at that day, at that time, that just was like destiny. I like it. What's up, humans? It's Luke, your friendly neighborhood trap Jesus. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate you. Remember to like and subscribe to our channels. And if you have any questions or topics that we need to cover on the show, put them in the comments. Appreciate you. Peace and peace among worlds.